ओके हाय एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन बेसिक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंपोनेंट कंपोनेंट्स दैट इज द ट्रांसफार्मर सो बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांसफार्मर सो वी ऑल नो अबाउट द एडाप्टर ऑन द मोबाइल चार्जर सो हेर इज सम फोटोग्राफ्स ऑफ मोबाइल चार्जर एंड एडाप्टर सो इन फर्स्ट फोटोग्राफ देर इज वी कैन रीड एज द इनपुट रेंज इनपुट रेंज इज हंड्रेड टू टू फोर्टी होल्ट एंड द करंट वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स एम्पियर सो द आउटपुट इज ट्वेल्व होल्ट एंड थ्री एम्पियर करंट सो देन सेकेंड दिस इज अ मोबाइल चार्जर सो ऑन दैट देर इज अ इनपुट रेंज इज हंड्रेड होल्ट हंड्रेड टू टू फोर्टी होल्ट एंड करंट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम्पियर बट द आउटपुट इज पॉइंट फाइव होल्टेज एंड द करंट इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स एम्पियर सो ऑल्सो इन थर्ड फोटोग्राफ देर इज अ इनपुट रेंज इज टू टू थर्टी टू टू फोर्टी होल्ट एंड करंट इज फोर हंड्रेड मिली एम्प एंड द आउटपुट इज फाइव होल्ट एंड करंट वैल्यू इज थ्री हंड्रेड मिली एम्प सो वाय दिस हैपन मीन्स वाय दिस आउटपुट एंड इनपुट रेंज चेंजेस इनपुट एंड आउटपुट चेंजेस एंड हाउ दिस चेंजेस सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो वाई वॉट इज दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज द स्टैटिक डिवाइस विच ट्रांसफर द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी और द पावर फ्रॉम वन सर्किट टू अनदर सर्किट एट कॉन्स्टंट फ्रिक्वेंसी मीन्स विदाउट एनी चेंज इन चेंजिंग द फ्रिक्वेंसी बट होल्टेज रेंज कैन बी चेंज मीन्स इट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज एज पर अवर द रिक्वायरमेंट सो वाई दिस इज अ स्टैटिक डिवाइस बिकॉज दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मर हैज नो मूविंग पार्ट्स मीन्स देर इज नो रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इन ट्रांसफॉर्मर लाइक अ इंडक्शन मोटर सो देर इज नो टॉर्क इज जनरेटेड टू कीप वन ऑफ द वाइंडिंग इन द मोशन दैट्स वाई दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज कॉल्ड एज अ स्टैटिक डिवाइस सो हाउ इट वर्क मीन्स दिस वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल सो द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज depends on the faraday law of electromagnetic induction and the mutual inductance so what is this mutual inductance so as we know that if uh, there is emf is induced in the same circuit if this uh, when this coil and magnetic field is present then current is changing and flux is generated in this coil due to the self inductance but instead of one coil the if there are two coils or two wire two coils of wire are present and magnetic field is present then flux is generated in both coil because of this mutual inductance so what is this faraday law so faraday did one experiment so in that experiment he took one magnet one magnet and one coil so this coil connected to this galvanometer so first at starting when this magnet is at the rest condition then there is no any deflection in the galvanometer means that is the needle of galvanometer is at the zero position but when this magnet is moved towards this this moved towards this coil then this galvanometer deflects or the needle of galvanometer deflects in one direction after that when this magnet is held stationary at the position then needle of galvanometer returns to this zero position then after again when this magnet is moves away from that coil then galvanometer shows the deflection but in opposite direction so from this Uh, from this uh, observation this faraday concluded that whenever there is relative motion between the conductor and the magnetic field then flux linkage will uh, flux linkage will change in this coil and change in flux induces the voltage across this coil also seen that when the faster change in the magnetic field then greater will be the induced emf or voltage in the coil so from this table we can easily understand the faraday experiment so on this faraday experiment law this working principle is depends 
ट्रांसफॉर्मर वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल इज डिपेंड्स सो नाउ वर्किंग सो हाउ इट वर्क्स मीन्स दट इज अ सिंपल वर्किंग सो फ्रॉम दिस फिगर यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द डिफरंट मीन्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द कोर सो दिस कोर इज नथिंग बट द डिफरंट मेटेलिक स्ट्रिप्स विच आर कनेक्टेड टू ईच अदर मीन्स लैमिनेशन इज फॉर्म्ड सो दिस लैमिनेटेड इज लैमिनेशन कोर इज इन्सुलेटेड बाय द इन्सुलेशन मटेरियल दैट इज द पेपर देन वॉर्निश और कार्डबोर्ड्स लाइक दिस देन वी कैन सी दैट देर इज अ वाइंडिंग दैट इज द प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग एंड सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग दिस इज अ प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग एंड दिस इज अ सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग सो दिस इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट दिस इज अ प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग एंड दिस शुड बी द सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग सो इफ इफ वी अप्लाय द इनपुट करंट और इनपुट वोल्टेज टू दिस वाइंडिंग देन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग एंड इफ वी आर रिसिविंग द आउटपुट फ्रॉम दिस वाइंडिंग देन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट इफ वी आर टेकिंग आउटपुट फ्रॉम दिस वाइंडिंग देन दिस इज अ सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग एंड इफ वी आर गिविंग द इनपुट टू दिस कॉइल और दिस वाइंडिंग देन दिस इज अ प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग सो दिस कंसिस्ट ऑफ द प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग एंड द सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग सो एज ए सी वोल्टेज सोर्स इज अप्लाइड टू दिस प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग देन मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स विल जनरेटेड इन दिस कॉइल एंड ई एम एफ इज ऑल्सो इंड्यूस्ड इन दिस कॉइल एज मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स जनरेटेड इन द प्राइमरी कॉइल देन दिस फ्लक्स विल ऑल्सो जनरेट इन द कोर सो दिस मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज अ डॉटेड लाइन वी कैन सी इन दिस फिगर सो देन फ्लक्स विल जनरेटेड इन दिस कोर एंड दैट्स वाई वी विल गेट द आउटपुट थ्रू दिस सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग मीन्स फ्रिक्वेंसी डज नॉट चेंज बट करंट और वोल्टेज कैन बी चेंज सो दिस इन फ्लक्स इंड्यूसेस इन प्राइमरी प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस सेल्फ इंडक्शन बट फ्लक्स लिंक इन द सेकेंडरी कॉइल बिकॉज ऑफ दिस म्यूचुअल इंडक्टन्स सो दिस इज अ सिंपल वर्किंग आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड नाउ द पार्ट्स ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड द फंक्शन इट्स फंक्शन सो देर आर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ मीन्स कंस्ट्रक्शन मीन्स दिस दीज आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड यूजिंग द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स मीन्स दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ द सेवरल डिफरेंट पार्ट्स दैट फंक्शन इन देअर ओन डिफरेंट वेज टू एनहांस द ओवरऑल फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो दिस इन्क्लूड्स कोर देन वाइंडिंग देन इन्सुलेटिंग मटेरियल्स देन ट्रांसफॉर्मर ऑइल देन कंजर्वेटर टैंक ब्रीदर कूलिंग ट्यूब्स एट्सेट्रा सो फर्स्ट वन इज द कोर सो the main function of the core is to support the winding so it is made up of the soft iron or steel um what can i say a silicon steel so why this material used for construction of core so to reduce, reduce the eddy current loss and the hysteresis loss loss so this core is nothing but the different metal thin metallic strips which are laminated into one means this can be laminated and this lamination is insulated by the coat of varnish or the papers so the thickness of each metal strip is very less that is the 0.5 mm in the range then second one is the winding so from this figure we can see that so winding is nothing but the primary coil and secondary coil means which is wound around the core so this winding can be based on input output supply or the voltage range means if this winding based on input output supply then this is called as a primary winding and secondary winding and if uh, this winding is based on voltage range then this is called as a high voltage winding and low voltage winding then next one is the insulating material so paper cardboards varnish these materials are used for insulation so these windings are made up of the copper due to high conductivity and ductility so why this conductivity is required because as conductivity high conductivity is present then it minimizes the amount of copper needed and minimizes the losses 
and due to high ductility means it can be easy it can be easy bend into any shape means easy bending of the conductor into tight winding around the core now next one is the transformer oil so the main purpose of this transformer oil is isolation and the cooling so this core and winding both are immersed into completely immersed into this oil and this tank contain mineral oil now oil conservator tank so if we have this transformer tank or this transformer oil then why this is needed so it played very important role in the transformer means it looks like the cylindrical shape which is connected to the uh, this um, transformer tank so means sometimes oil level reduces in this transformer tank due to the leakage or losses that time this conservator tank delivers the oil to this transformer means it act as a reservoir reservoir oil means it store the extra oil and directly connected to transformer tank so the main purpose of this tank is to protect the expansion of oil in the main tank of transformer then breather so from this figure we can see that it is the cylindrical vessel and which contain the blue color silica gel this is filled with blue color silica gel so why this is required so sometimes there is a moisture present in the uh, this conservator tank means this oil so to remove this moisture so this breather is used so it act as a air filter and provide the free moisturizing air to this conservator tank then buchlos relays so this buchlos relays which is the protective device means when internal faults occurs in the transformer so why this internal faults is occur because of this leakage flux then insulation core and the core connection otherwise breakdown of the core so that's why this excessive heat is produces and because of this excessive heat uh, this heat decomposes the oil in the transformer and the gas bubble is uh, gas bubbles is formed so as gas bubble flow in the upward direction they are collected in this relay and this relay is fault detected by the amount of nature of this gas and the oil level in the transformer means they can detect the fault which are present in the transformer the next one is the bushing so from this figure we can see that these are the vertical lines these are the bushing so bushing is the nothing but the insulating device that is made up of the proselyte material means this provides the path of the conductor to transformer means if we want to uh, give the supply to another system that time this bushing is used then next one is the cooling tube and radiator so this name suggests that this is used for the cooling purposes so these are the nothing but the tubes so this radiator is connected with the transformer tank and also made up of the number of metal strips or the pipes so both cooling tube and radiator provide the same function but they work in different ways so why these are used means sometimes losses occur in this transformer that's why this heat is generated and to remove this heat so this cooling tube and radiator is used so these used in the form of cooling system means there are two cooling system first is natural cooling system and second is forced cooling system in natural cooling system both cooling tube and radiator are used but in forced cooling system we have to add one extra air fan to this transformer so this means main purpose of this cooling tube and radiator means it maintains the temperature of this transformer then next one is the explosion vent so this is a explosion vent which is located at the topmost position of the transformer so vent is vent is nothing but to remove to remove the unwanted material means the main purpose 
of this vent to prevent the damaged transformer oil tank by expelling boiling oil during this internal fault means if there is extra oil is present then it removes by boiling means it can remove heated oil in the transformer means this explosion tank used only for emergency purpose if uh, means uh, buchlos relays and breather if they are not working properly that time this explosion vent is used now this is a picture so this picture shows uh, that how electricity flows from power plant this power plant to home so how they will flow this current current or the electricity so as we know that electric electricity that flows to our home which is generated in the power station so this electricity flows through this large transmission line these are the transmission line so with the help of this means through this electricity is flowing so if we connect this wire directly from this uh, power plant to home then there is loss in the current because of this wire is consist of the copper so if we use this copper wire for transmission of the current or electricity then there is loss and the, we will not get as per our requirement current value as per our requirement so that's why this transformer is added into this transmission line so if we are getting voltage range from power plant that is 12 uh, 12000 volt then to increase this voltage so why this uh, need to increase because as voltage increases so this power can be pushed over the long distance because this power plant and home there is much difference means this is very away from each other that's why we have to increase the voltage so as voltage increases current is also increases so as voltage current increases then then resistance decreases so as per according to ohms law so as voltage increases then we are getting uh, double this consider this is a double range in this voltage but we do not require that much voltage that's why this step down transformer is used so this step up and step down transformer these are the types of transformer step up is nothing but increase the voltage range voltage value and step down transformer which reduces which lowers the voltage range so it reduces to 8000 volt 8000 volt but this is much value for uh, our home so we require 240 volt so here one another one trans, another transformer is used and this converted into 240 volt and we get 240 volt range voltage range in this in our home so from this we get clear idea about the transformer means why transformer is used so thank you guys i hope you understood the basic concept about the transformer so don't forget to like comment share and don't forget to subscribe my channel